final leg back here for another huge weekend in track and field just when we thought the season was over with the Olympics getting postponed these athletes have been coming out really putting down some great performances let's start off down in Clearmont Florida where we saw some high profile athletes starting off with Shauna Miller Weibo from the Bahamas she competed in the 100 and 200 meters first in that 100 meter dash in the heat she ran a personal best of 11.03 seconds really taking a big chunk off her personal best and that time actually she made her one of the fastest 400 meter runners in history to run the 100 meter dash but guess what that wasn't it she came back for the finals not too long after that managed to run another personal best of 10.98 seconds not only a personal best but that also makes her just the fourth woman in history to ever break 49 seconds 22 seconds and 11 seconds in the 400 200 and 100 meters respectively only marita koch marisa perek and then also valerie briscoe hooks were the only ones to ever do it previously she also moves up to number three on the all-time combined sprinters list only behind Marita Koch and Flojo so Shawna Miller Weibo really making history with this one performance in the 100 meter dash that wasn't it though she followed it up in the 200 meters where she got out to a best of 21.98 seconds breaking that 22 second barrier the first time this year of course we know she's run 21.74 last year but this is a great performance showing that she is really really fast she's been working on that speed and she already ran 48.37 seconds last year in the 400 meters so with this speed she's definitely going to be looking towards pushing closer to that 48 second barrier next year in 2021 so keep a lookout for her also notable in the 100 meters was tamari davis she got out to a strong best in the heats of 11.18 seconds followed that up in the final with 11.15 seconds very consistent performances and just two hundredths of a second off her personal best of 11.13 seconds so still very young she has a lot of progressing to do but it shows that she's doing some good training right now and she's gonna have a lot more coming in the years to come finally finishing up in the sprints we had jasmine camacho quinn of puerto rico she ran a hundred meter personal best of 11.22 seconds puerto rican record for her and then in the 200 meters she came back ran 22.45 seconds also we saw lena irby used to be from georgia and now she's competing for adidas she managed to run 22.47 seconds so all around great performances in the women's 100 and 200 meter dash now let's head over to that men's side in the 100 meter dash one of the best performances of the weekend we saw Trayvon Brumell from the United States of course we saw him run really fast just two weeks ago here he managed to run 9.90 seconds with a plus 1.4 meter per second win so legal performance for him this is his third best time in his entire career dating back to 2015 so he has been really on a roll he's been showing that he has recovered from his injuries and he is going to be a threat come 2021 at those Tokyo Olympics Olympics. He's definitely going to be one in the mix to make that 100 meter U.S. team. So definitely keep a lookout for him to potentially get a medal at those Tokyo Olympics. Behind him in the 100 meters, we saw Noah Lyles and Andre DeGrasse. Andre DeGrasse first, he got out to a best of 9.97 seconds in the heat. He followed things up in the finals, running another 9.97 seconds. This time it was wind aided, but really consistent performances. Of course, we saw him get two medals at the World Championships last year. Of course, he's a double medalist from the last Olympics in 2016. So we're going to see him really going for another spots on the podium in the 100 and 200 meters next year in Tokyo. Finally, Noah Lyles, he really showed out here. He's already been having a great consistent season. In the heats, he finished just behind Bromel and Andre DeGrasse in 10.04 seconds. Then came the final. He got out to the win here. Bromel didn't run, but Noah Lyles took the win in 9.93 seconds. Wind aided here, 2.3 meters per second. But don't forget, he ran 9.93 a couple weeks ago earlier this month, but that was with a plus 4 point zero meter per second win so he's showing that he's really progressing here on the 200 meter side of things still with Noah Lyles he got out to a best of 19.94 seconds and this time he actually ran a full 200 meters so no mistakes on the track here he had a slight tailwind of 0 0.8 meters per second so still clearly legal and showing that he is clearly the most dominant 200 meter runner that's going to be going into the Tokyo 2021 Olympic season just behind him though we had Steven Gardner from the Bahamas of course he's a world champion at 400 meters last year here. here he got out to a 200 meter best of 19.96 seconds now he wasn't in the same heat as Noah Lyles so couldn't chase Noah Lyles but still a huge performance from him not too far off his personal best but he's showing he's in some great form but definitely going to be looking to get that Olympic gold medal in the 400 meters in Tokyo next year finally let's end off the meet here in Claremont where we had Grant Holloway up against Devin Allen in the men's 110 meter hurdles Grant Holloway took the win here in 13.35 seconds very 
very strong performance. He eased up at the line though, and Devin Allen almost caught him, but he finished second place in 13.36 seconds. So great performances from these two guys. Grant Holloway, of course, the world champion from last year. He's definitely going to be improving. We always love it when we see him on the track. So keep a lookout for him as the season progresses, if he runs anything else and going into 2021. Now let's keep it in the sprints, but this time let's head over to Texas. We saw a lot of athletes competing at the AP Ranch. Here they were back again this weekend. Shakari Richardson, she got out to a best in the 100 meters of 10.79 seconds. Unfortunately, it wasn't legal. It did have a plus 2.7 meters per second win, but this shows that she is extremely consistent and in very good form. If we accounted for the wind, we took it away, it would be about 10.98 seconds or so. So again, really great form that Shakari Richardson is in, and we're definitely going to see how she progresses going into next year. Now let's finish off with the sprints. We had Elaine Thompson down in Jamaica running that 100 meter dash. She also got out to a huge best of 10.73 seconds. Unfortunately, just like Shakari Richardson, the time was wind aided plus 3.0 meters per second. But if we accounted for the wind, if we converted it, it would come out to about 10.89 seconds. So again, shows that she's in some very great form, but this is important because she looks to be very healthy. She's recovering from the injuries she's been struggling with since about 2017, but we know she's going to be battling out with Shelly and Fraser Price. So keep a lookout as we progress into the 2021 season to see how Elaine Thompson progresses. Now finishing things off in Jamaica, we saw Julian Forte going up against Johan Blake in the 100 meters. Forte managed to get the win in 9.96 seconds, just over the allowable limit for the win, 2.1 meters per second. Blake was just behind though in 10.07 seconds. Now I want to note something. I see a couple people saying that Blake is really good. He looks to be fast. 10.07 seconds is really fast. Just want to make a note though. Remember, Johan Blake is the second fastest man in history with his 9.69 seconds back in 2012. He also had run under 10 seconds for the past couple seasons, about four seasons. So he looks like he needs to really get a little bit faster. 10.07 seconds is not going to do it. And the way that all these guys are running, Christian Coleman, Noah Lyles, Trayvon Bromel, right? You might have to get into that 9.8 second run. Even Akina Simbine, Arthur Cisse, there's a lot of guys, Andre de Grasse. Johan Blake is really going to have to step things up and really get closer to what his personal best might be or some of the other consistent times that he was running in the past before we really start to celebrate and say that he's really back. So great performances by all the Jamaicans down in Jamaica this weekend. Now let's finish things off with a couple other results. Out in Portland, Oregon, we saw the Bowerman Track Club going with some time trials in an inner squad meet. Mo Ahmed, who competes for Canada in that 1500 meters, got out to a best of 3 minutes 34.89 seconds. He was also joined on the women's side by Carissa Schweizer. She was paced by Shelby Houlihan in that 1500 meters, but Schweizer took the win here in 4 minutes and 2 seconds, just about to break that 4 minute barrier, but strong performances from the Bowerman Track Club here. Then moving back down to Texas, but this time at the Prairie View a and USATF meet, Natasha Hastings. She's coming back off of giving birth just a couple months ago. In that 300 meters, she managed to run 36.51 seconds. So really strong performance for her considering that she gave birth. So definitely keep a lookout for her. She was one of the best 400 meter runners in the US and in the world over the past couple seasons. So we're going to see her going into the Tokyo 2021 Olympic season. Finally, we have Mauricio Ortega in the discus throw. He competes for Colombia. He was actually out in Portugal and threw a best of 70.29 meters. Huge, huge personal best. A South American record for him overtakes the world lead that Daniel Stahl had previously had, but only two other men in the past five years have ever thrown farther than him in this discus throw. So great performance for Ortega. He's definitely going to be a medal threat come Tokyo next year. All right, so those are just some of the great performances and highlights that we've seen over the past week. There's definitely some more competitions coming. So go in the comments below. Let me know some of the performances that you really loved this past week. And let me know some of the performances that you're looking forward to as the year winds down. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again next video. Thanks.